Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me this week. So this week I'm going to be talking about the nature of concept-based mathematics and what it's about. I'm going to be summarizing five different facets about the nature of concept-based mathematics. So if you're interested in this topic, then please keep on watching. Okay, so this week I'm going to be talking about five different facets of concept-based mathematics and what is concept-based mathematics about. So let me move myself first of all out of the way. and move myself up maybe here so I'm not actually in the way. So the first facet I want to talk about is that pattern seeking ability. So concept based mathematics is about supporting learners, students to pattern seek and generalize. And we often call that the inductive teaching and learning method. So the first facet that concept based mathematics is about, it's about patterns. And we know that mathematics as a language of different conceptual relationships is all about patterns. The second important idea of what concept-based mathematics is about, it's about fostering joy and creativity when learning mathematics. And I think sometimes the creativity part in mathematics gets neglected. So we want to make sure that we expose students to the creativity of problem solving, the different lines of inquiry, and the different possible solutions that students can arrive at for different situations and scenarios. The third facet of concept-based mathematics is about beauty. And often mathematics, I think, is reduced to rote memorization, facts, and a black and white right and wrong. Now, there is much beauty in mathematics as well as creativity. We want our students to be engaged in uncovering the beauty of mathematics. The fourth facet of concept-based mathematics is helping learners to understand why they are learning what they're learning. So not just saying, here is a formula, memorize it, and this is how you use it for different problems, but what does it do? Why is it important? What's the so what? Why is this particular idea important? Why is this formula important and how does it help us? And then the last facet of concept-based mathematics is really about the interconnectedness of the mathematical conceptual ideas. The nature of mathematics is that all different strands of mathematics, whether that's data handling, whether that's algebra, whether that's geometry, is that those different strands are all interconnected. When a mathematician is actually solving a problem, they don't just use one strand of mathematics, but they draw on the interconnected nature of mathematics to be able to solve problems. So they're the five different facets of concept-based mathematics and what concept-based mathematics is about. It's about patterns. It's about creativity. It's about beauty. It's about helping students, learners to understand why. And the nature of mathematics is that it is interconnected. All of the different topics and strands in mathematics are all interconnected. Concept-based mathematics is basically a language of conceptual relationships. So thank you so much for joining me again this week. If you have any comments, please feel free to put it in the section below. And I hope to see you next time.